I guess they're not open today. Well, hey, good morning, good evening, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. This is Organic Dairyman, and welcome back to my channel today. Today is Monday, July 5th, and I uh, hope you guys are doing great. hope your month has been off to a good start, or whenever you're watching this. But uh, anyways, um, I'm doing great. I'm doing fine. And I suppose a lot of you guys are wondering, have we gotten any rain? Because it's been dry around here. Um, I know I talked about that in my previous videos, but yes, it has been dry. Um, last week, we got three and a half tenths of rain. And about a day after we got that, it was already dry again. It helped, but it's pretty darn dry. We haven't had any rain since then. And um, so anyways, what is going on around here today? Well, we got a few things going on around here today. Uh, the first thing I got to do here, we got all done with the milk and chores and everything. I need to take the mixer away and go quick feed the cows. And yes, if you're wondering, we do have the 8670 in the mixer wagon. And I'll show you here why we do. Because, um, what was it? Saturday, Saturday I had just a small little boo-boo with the 4240. I got too close to something. And... Um, well, I accidentally popped the tire or gashed it or something. I didn't realize it was as close to this one thing as what I thought it was. And it uh, there was something pokey sticking out of this one thing and it caught the tire. And it popped it. It uh, put a nice little hole in it. I can almost stick my finger in it. But, yeah, you get the idea. But, hey, it's only flat on one side, right? Turn it over. Jack it up, spin it over, then it won't be flat, right? <laughs> yeah, I wish it'd be that easy. But anyways, um, we're not going to get it fixed today. We didn't, we didn't get it fixed on Saturday or yesterday because the tire shop is closed. It's closed on Monday because they may, they got to make it a three-day weekend. And that's just what they do. So anyways, we'll call the tire shop, which I was doing that earlier, just to see. And again, of course, they were closed. But tomorrow, we'll call them. They'll come out, and they're going to put a new tire on it. You can't patch that no way and i gotta do some cultivating here today um the cultivator broke down yesterday i had the lillison cultivator the one with the spinning spiders which i'll show you here later on but anyways um yeah so that didn't go so good i almost got done and then the cultivator broke but anyways i better go feed the cows and then i gotta go work on that cultivator i'll show you what needs to be done to it and then we'll just kind of go from there Okay, before I, I show you the cultivator thing, um, what's wrong with that, uh, I just wanted to show you this cornfield right here. This cornfield here was planted on June 10th, and this is what it looks like. Not very good. Why does it not look very good? Because we haven't had very much rain. You got corn, some corn that's, some corn that's come up, and then you got corn here, and it still hasn't even sprouted because it's too dry. When I planted this field, I planted it as deep as I could get it. Probably three inches in the ground. And uh, this is the corn that has hit moisture. I mean, the whole cornfield should look, some of that corn there is taller. It's a little over ankle high, and it should be. The whole field should look like that, but it doesn't. There's a lot of corn that hasn't even come up. So I don't know what we're gonna do with this field or not. Obviously we, plan on chopping it if we get a rain here we'll get something out of it we could probably chop it I don't know or we could come out here and disc it all up and get some sorghum and plant sorghum in here <laughs> but we got to get rain what good is it if we don't get rain that's the problem I don't know there's some clouds over there whether it's gonna turn into rain I don't know but it's just kind of strange it's kind of strange to have two dry years in a row. Real, this year is drier than last year. And it's hotter. 
than last year too. Last year at this time, so. I don't know what's going on with the weather, but it just seems awfully strange. But, um, it is what it is. Okay, here is, this is the Lillison Collivator back here. The one with the rolling spiders on here. Lilliston. So anyways, what happened on this one, the bearing went out on it. And so this bearing is pretty much shot. But thankfully I got two spares on hand. Get these there and there, so. I just gotta get the old bearings off of here and then put it back together and it should be good to go. I just flipped it upside down so it was easy to work on. But uh, these are good cultivators. Like if you need to get through the field fast, um, like right now they're set so it throws the dirt. It throws it in between the rows. And then if when you wanna go back a second time through, you can do is take and flip them around and then it'll throw the dirt into the row but uh, it's got to be the stuff's got to be really tall always it, I mean it really throws the dirt so you got to take that one right there put that one over there and that one over there you got to switch all these around and then they work so anyways I'm gonna get those bearings put on and then um, go back out to the field and finish cultivating it with this I'll probably have maybe like 45 minutes left and now what we're gonna do is come out there either with a Glenco are the Danish Tine Cultivator and go through the field with that. Maybe we'll go through with them both at the same time. My brother Steve has to go back over to the far away field to get the other cultivator, track and cultivator over there. So that way um, he can come back here and we can work at that bean field because hopefully it's going to rain. But we got to get done before the rain, otherwise, the rain is going to make the weeds grow more. Okay, just got done taking the water out to the milk cows out there. They had a little bit left in their tank earlier, that's why we didn't take it out right away. They had to drink that up first, so we gave them some more. But anyways, we're done cultivating for now, and I gotta go get started with the feeding chores, but 
I was hoping to get some time to work on this thing here. I gotta get the mow boards. I gotta get them painted up on here. They're getting a little bit rusty. So, yeah. So anyways, I better go get to the feeding chores. But my brother, he just coming back here now from cultivating. And he got full of a bunch of pigeon grass on there. <laughs> I think he's gonna go out and clip off a paddock. That thing here in a little bit too, but, but I better get the animals fed. Well, how much rain did we get? Just a tad over an inch and one tenth about. Huh. Yeah, well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to day two of this video. Yeah, as you can see, we got some rain today. Yep, just a little bit over an inch, just what we needed. Actually, it's still raining out right now. As I speak, just a real light rain. So we got some puddles in the yard mud water I haven't seen that for ages <laughs> so yep so anyways we got some rain and I think everybody's happy I think the barn swallows are happy too <laughs> so anyways I don't know what we'll be doing here today but <sighs> we'll find something to do here today Maybe go out and play in the mud for a change, I don't know, but yeah, we'll find something to do. Okay, I'm gonna go and go feed the milk cows there, but before I do, I need to move a couple feed bunks out there because where they're at, um, the mixer wagon is gonna slide in the mud. I obviously want to let the cows out and but before I can move the feed bunks I need to go out to the cattle lot with the mixer where I can drive around and find a spot with where, where the uh, mixer wagon isn't gonna slide because you can't have a slope it can't slope away from the bunks if it slopes away it will slide away it can't slope in towards the bunk otherwise it will slide in towards the feed bunks eventually someday we would like to pour some concrete out there but that ain't gonna happen right now with the, uh, I don't know. There's just not enough money around this time of the year. It seems like always shorter money this time of the year. Maybe it's because we get paid less money this time of the year for some weird reason. <laughs> so anyways, I am going to uh, try to do that and then I'm gonna go take the, uh, the loader tractor. It's over there in the hay shed and then uh, Put the pallet forks on and go move the feed bunk once I determine where it needs. And I know we are not gonna, we're just gonna wait to get that tire fixed today. Um, since we don't really need it anyways today anyway. And it's raining out, I don't think the tire guy really wants to change tire, or change it, fix the tire out in the, mud, in the rain, so in the mud. And we're just gonna wait till tomorrow, so we'll call him and have him get it fixed. But we'll uh, see if we get those feed bunks moved around. I didn't have to move the feed bunks. Those two feed bunks, so that was nice. I was able to get in there. This came in from a different angle and it worked okay. So, oh, that's good. So anyways, what are we gonna do next? Well, let's see here. 
I know I gotta stick around here in this afternoon just for a little tiny video because we got some internet people coming. They're running fiber optic cables out here. Um, they're gonna be working at it over the summer, into the fall or whatever, but uh, so there's some guys that gotta come out. They're just getting everything planned out for what they gotta do. They gotta see what they gotta run it up to the house and put on some service box or something. So yeah, it's gonna be nice to have fiber optics out here in the country for once instead of having the wireless internet. But they wouldn't be doing it, but they got um, some government grant to do it. Otherwise they'd never do it because there's not enough paying customers per square mile in the country, out in the rural areas. So it's kind of nice. So I'll have more reliable, faster internet. So anyways, it is still sprinkling out here just a little bit, but um, I don't know, maybe it'll go up, go and do, go somewhere today or something, maybe go up to the bigger town, Watertown, and do something different today, we'll see. <sighs> well, that doesn't look quite right. Anyways, um, I, I guess I did find something else here to do. My brother brought this to my attention that these bearings were bad and these stabilizer discs on this cultivator. And so I'm gonna have to take that apart and get that <sighs> fixed. And the other side is bad too, that one's locked up. But these are not the original um, stabilizer discs for this cultivator. I don't think they are anyways. Because my cousin has one just like this and his are different. So, but I guess I'll get busy and do this job. Huh. Well, I've been working at this thing for a little bit. I just can't get the uh, stuff off there right now, but I gotta go into town and get some other things. I wanted to get that thing off before I went to town so I could get new bearings for it, but I wanna get to town before it gets too late and I gotta get some, one of the things I gotta get is some def for the loader tractor. Otherwise that thing is not gonna run right if I don't get that def in there. So I better run to town and go get that. And I'll have to work on that thing later. That old rusty old bugger. That thing is just rusted on there. Okay, everybody. Um, well, we decided to go to Watertown in Walmart here. My wife went in there to run and go get something quick. But yeah, on the way up here, we stopped at John Deere. Had to pick up a belt for that Meyer wagon. And remember my last video, I was talking about that. So we had to get that, and we might just make one more stop, and then uh, we got to go to the farm store here, and then we'll probably go home. And but we got a little outing, anyways. So. Yep, yep, out, out at the farm. Yep, we need a brand new one. Well, good morning, everyone. Oh, welcome to day three of this video. Whew. I gotta take it back this tractor out of the shed here just a little ways because as you saw, um, I called the uh, tire company. They're gonna come out and replace that tire. So, yep, so we're gonna put a good for one year tire on there. Well, 
I don't know. <laughs> That's that one and only farmer he calls Goodyear Terriers. Good for one year, but we'll see. They were all out of Firestones. We wanted to put a Firestone on there, but they were all out the backwards. So, anyway, I better get this started up and uh, back this tractor out so it's ready to go for when the tire guy gets here. Okay, I just brought this out here to the uh, machine shed over here and excuse the weeds and yeah, we gotta get this mowed down out here. But anyways, I'm gonna take the torch. I gotta, I gotta heat up something out here. I cannot get that thing off. It's an old ornery bugger. So, oh, the doors are probably locked shut here and the uh, tire guy is here too. He just got here and he is over there changing the tire. He moved the tractor to a less moneyer spot, so he's getting that done. So. Anyways, I better get the door opened up over here and I get the fire wrench. Oh, wasn't even locked. Oh, we gotta fix this door. It's off the hinge up there. <laughs> you can see it's off. No, I can see it's off. But anyways, I better get this job done. And, uh, get this door. Well, there. Finally got the little buggers. Got it on. But that shaft is going to have to be, re or this uh, bolt is going to have to be replaced. No good. Uh, I don't know, these stabilizer discs are kind of a joke sometimes. I think they should have designed them a little bit differently. Come on there, little guy, buckaroos. The buckarets. Come on, let's go. Oh, no, don't turn around there. Come on. Oh, oh. There we go. Come on. Let's go. Okay. Um. As you just saw, we just moved some calves around there a little bit ago. And, uh, but anyways, they needed to be moved. Just a couple calf pens had to be switched around and moved. They're getting too old for where they were or too big for the pens that they were in. But anyway, um, I, bet I got uh, this collivator. Yeah, I should say getting back to this collivator. I got both obviously off, stabilizer disc off. And um, of course, both bearings. They were uh, shot, done for. So, so anyways, what I'm going to do, what am I gonna do now is I have to go to town. I'm gonna go to Napa and 
go get some of those um see if i get some new bearings for it and um i think the biggest thing why this thing is getting dirt in here uh, these things got to be replaced yeah that's that's what it's supposed to look like like that not like that and that's why this dirt these are getting more out too so i don't know i gotta get because these bolts are an inch diameter and yeah it's gotta get like that so i gotta get two new bolts because those are eating up hope i can find those in town then i'm gonna take and make some new ones of these get some new washers and i'm gonna use this piece of pipe here this pipe will be perfect uh, i'll have to take it over to my, one of my cousin's place because we don't have a chop saw so i'll have to chop cut it up with the chop saw so i can get it cut evenly you'll never never get it cut evenly with a hacksaw so anyways that's what i'm gonna go do here in a little bit I think I'll take the okay as you can see I am back home I'm gonna quick run over to my cousin Matt's place he's got a chop saw I need to cut some of that pipe off so I can make some new stuff but I'm not gonna make it tonight I just want to get that thing cut I have to work at tomorrow cuz I still haven't done any of the feeding chores yet so I gotta get to that so uh, Oh, it took a little longer to tell than I wanted to. Just this little thing and that little thing, and all that time adds up. So, uh, yeah. Okay, everyone, we're all done for the day here, and uh, I'm pretty tired, but uh, um, that, I didn't obviously get that collimator done, but I don't know, that pipe that I brought over there to have my cousin cut, it, it never ended up, maybe I talked about that earlier, I can't remember, but it didn't work, um, so I'll have to find some other pipe, and uh, Anyways, in the morning, my we're gonna have this. My brother's gonna go out and spread some fertilizer because we're not all done spreading fertilizer because we couldn't spread it to start um, the last of it because the hay was too tall when we wanted to go out and spread it. So now the hay is, of course, growing back a little bit, but it's not that tall. So we'll have to go out and finish spreading the fertilizer on the hay fields, and then uh, we'll be done with that job. And um, what else? I don't know, we may have to go back and cultivate the soybeans again later on, so. But other than that, that's it. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have, well, I hope you have a good night if you're going to bed. When you're watching this, I'm ready to go to bed. And uh, please don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. And also head over to Rumble and check me out on there. And, um, well, just thanks for watching and for all the support. So anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video.